Hi guys, I wish to take you through a simple way of uh, inserting an animation just like you can see there is some moving arrows just showing you that you choose the vehicle number from that drop down list therefore basically I will be taking you through how to come up with that one uh, in that now somebody can be attracted to see that you start the program by choosing something from this point here. Therefore, basically, uh, what you need to do is to create rebos. Therefore, if I can take you to the design view. It is these are rebos. Therefore, you'll draw rebos of different colors and then you do the coding. Therefore, let me just uh, create. A new form therefore just go to form design that way therefore this is our form where we want to have the navigation and therefore we can just draw our combo box here therefore we need to have a combo we can just have a combo here this is our combo where we need to choose something therefore we can just have this one that way we edit our combo Therefore, that is our combo where we shall uh, require the user to choose. Like now, uh, we want to choose a category. Choose a category that way. Then we go to our point of interest. We just go save that one. You can just call it main, main, main that way. Then just go to design then take a rebel here you take a rebel therefore i can draw my rebel there and then put my angle angle or my greater than sign <coughs> then you can put that one to be uh, that way then copy it if we just copy this copy paste if i can just paste it there also paste another one paste and uh, paste another one Paste another one. For example, paste another one. Paste. Before you have that one, we paste that. Then we can just give them different colors. Like now, I want this one to be that color. This one to be a different color. This one also to be a different color. This one to be a different color. That way. Then just highlight these ones and make them bold. Therefore, this is what I want. I want this one to uh, have an animation uh, throughout. Therefore, the first thing is to go and do a VBA. Therefore, if I just run this one, you can see what I have so far. In that now we can be choosing our stuff here. Then this one should be moving. Therefore, the next point, uh, just go to form on road properties. You choose form then on road event therefore on road event here this is where we shall, we shall choose uh, hit the three dots then go to this point and type me just type me dot now the rebel name we need first of all to identify our rebels if I just go to this one identify our rebels therefore to identify our rebels we just hit the rebel you see this is rebel 2 Rebo 3, Rebo 4, Rebo 5. I'm checking on this. This is Rebo 6. Therefore, you have Rebo 2, 3, 4, 6. So, now if I go to coding, if I just go to form, then the event. Therefore, when I am in this point here, I just type me dot Rebo 1. Now we have Rebo 1 dot visible equals to true that is the first one but we also needed to confirm that our first one is that one therefore our first one is rebo 2 therefore just go and edit that one this is rebo 2 therefore our rebo 2 should be visible uh, throughout then uh, from there we just go again to this form and uh, choose form here then we go on timer here you just go to this point 
time interval you can give something like 200 milliseconds then you need to code here you just put your vba code on timer and then hit the three dots therefore after hitting the three dots we shall type now if me dot rebo2 uh, rebo2 dot visible uh, equals to true true then me dot rebo2 rebo2 dot visible equals to true that way then uh, on the other hand that is uh, we are supposed to say the next rebo the next rebo is rebo3 the next rebo should be 3 rebo our rebo3 should be true and then you can just copy this but the one that is visible the one that is up here the one that is up here therefore just copy this i copy that then i paste it here therefore when i paste it there this one should be our rebo2 which was up there should be false therefore this one should be false then we carry on and then again we write else if again we need to copy this just have, have this copied therefore if me dot uh, rebo the one that is true okay if else if me dot rebo now this this one that was uh, true there is the one that is taken to the next part um, therefore e else if else if it's just of this one here if it's true Therefore, if me dot label two is true, therefore here we just go else. If me dot label three dot visible dot visible equals to true, then then we copy this because we need to do it faster before we copy this here therefore this one we shall be doing that this one should be false but the next one should be true therefore our rebo 4 will be true then we also copy this again we paste it down here then say the rebo that was true here this is true true Therefore, this one is our rebo 4 is true. Then here, rebo 4 should be false. Rebo 6, the last one here, should be true. We have, remember, we have rebo 2, 3, 4, 6. Then the last bit is else. Else. Then we have. Uh, you can just copy this part around therefore else uh, else our first one should be true that is true and then our last one should be false therefore our six here should be false therefore let's try and see what we have so far therefore this is the code uh, remember ladies and gentlemen you can get this code from my website the website address or url is just uh, below this video you can just get it from my website therefore let's try and see what we have so far uh, we have to get and if and if there it is complaining that we have not included our and if before this is our form can you just go to main main and open it there we are ladies and gentlemen therefore you can see that uh, now our arrow is animated it is having some data in that it can now read some data here like for example if we include this one just go to data then we go to resource 
can have seret distinct select distinct a certain field or we can just have something here and we can have car can have rory let's try from vehicles like this. Good. Therefore, you can see from this point that these arrows of ours are now uh, reading to the actually reading, showing you that you can choose category from this point. And this is exactly what I wanted us to, to do uh, from scratch. And then you can be in a position to do that. Therefore, basically, it will just go to, through the code uh, if you, you go uh, through the code for that case here, let's just go to design view, uh, that just go to form, then event. You can be in a position to go to on timer here, and then you can be in a position to see the code that I intended us to, uh, to have. This is the code from the form road and also from the time around and therefore thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and also remember to get this code from my website as promised thank you